Hi everyone and welcome back. So uh, as we decided in the previous video, we are going to create a schema mapping for our index. Okay. So first let's take a look onto the mapping. It's kind of simple. What I did is we already created a document directly without creating the index. So it will create the index and also schema mapping that I did in the previous video and we got some default schema mapping created by Elasticsearch. Now what I just did is I copied and pasted it here and I just changed few things. Okay, because we can just reuse that schema mapping based on our search criteria, whatever we wanted to change. So we got one default from Elasticsearch. Now do the changes. The changes I have done is uh, the types are same for the tags, email and the text, which is type text. So it will do the text search. Okay. Here I just added this analyzer and a search analyzer. Okay. Analyzer is autocomplete and you can see in the settings we have added this filter. Okay. And this analyzer. So analyzer is using autocomplete filter and the lowercase filter. That means this what this autocomplete filter will do is uh, whenever you are typing a text. Okay. Whenever you are typing uh, anything for the title it will do the autocomplete search for the title means if you are if the the title is hello if you are typing h h e h e l l it will do the search for it it will give the results for the title so that is just a specific requirement so now this is my index okay i will just copy this okay and i will provide this index uh, schema mapping to uh, a description link okay what we need to do is go to our document here Elasticsearch is running. Now we can actually create the index. This is how we can do. Let me first delete the index. So how we can do is posts one. And we can delete the index posts. So we can reuse the same name again. So this is the put call and here just specify your mapping and my name of the index is post. Here I'm specifying settings and mappings. That's it. Do, this, do the submit. It will acknowledge posts has been created and now you can get the mapping also. Get mapping of posts get call and here you can see we have these many properties and for title you can see the analyzer is there okay that's it so we have created an index using schema mapping now we can actually populate some records you can say post document and we can actually use some nice name okay let's keep it like this and here we have some documents which we can insert This is valid JSON. That's that's what we need. And we can insert it. Okay. Now keep changing it. Title is uh, okay. Node JS. Node JS. Hello. Testing. Whatever you want. It's a big name. Let's keep it no react.js and we are creating the raccoon. Okay, so I have created some records. Now we can try some search. Okay, so where is search here? Search we are doing on the posts and we are doing on the title. Let's see if we get some data here. Yes, that's it, right? We are specifying only RE and you are able to see the data coming for RE is Redux and React. That is awesome, right? So for title, if I just provide JS, it should give me a lot of records, right? Because JS is a lot of, a lot of places. And if you see the title is angular, even if I specify ULAR, it should give me angular. Oh uh, no. Let me just see E N G U. 
yeah it is giving me and and so i mean this is like uh, auto complete search kind of thing and we are getting the angular record okay this is what we want this is what we wanted to do on the title search so we have created a records we are doing search we created an index lot of lot of things we have done on the elastic search level right now we will do the integration with the nextjs service and we should be able to create record and search okay for that we have to use some modules with the nextjs to talk to elastic search okay now our platform is ready we can actually we are able to create the data by specifying the payload this is a simple payload document we have right we can add few more attributes to this but this is our base schema we have a text uh, title we need a search on the tags we need a search and on the text okay so let's talk about the next year site in the next video how we can actually uh, how we can actually do the integration with elastic search okay uh, thanks everyone